Hey, this is the Black Belt Panda, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to build this 1x2 underground house. Alright, so we are here uh, on Tutorial Island, and because I know people are going to ask, uh, the resource pack I'm using is uh, called Default 3D. Uh, it is a 1.8 resource pack, and I will put a link to it in the description below. Uh, but many of you may remember the previous uh, smallest house tutorial that I did in Minecraft, which is a 2x2 two two house. Um, and many of you commented, you know, oh yeah, you can you could totally make one smaller. It's totally possible. Um, but I avoided doing it, uh, or at least avoided doing a tutorial on it, because... Um, at the time, I thought that the ability to do this would get removed, and it still hasn't been. So, let's go ahead and uh, do this anyway. Uh, so, the first thing I'm going to do, pick a spot to start digging down right here. I'm going to put a torch here. That is an interesting looking torch. Alright, so we're putting a torch there. Um, and then we are going to dig down a few blocks. Place a trap door. Go ahead and open that. And then what we're going to do is put a ladder here. Right? We're going to drop down. And the next ladder we want, so we want to hop on that ladder, put another one right there. So you see how there's a one block space, and the next ladder is on a different uh, wall. It's on the wall next to it. Um, so we're going to break the blocks here as well. So we're going two by two as we go down. And what we're going to do is we're going to place um, <clears throat> right here an ender chest, and then a chest under that a chest under that and we need another ladder so that's going to go right there so again leave a block space and then go back to the first wall so we're alternating um, and now let's go ahead and place a um, a furnace and a crafting table like so and we're going to go down a few more blocks again and this time we want a ladder on this wall one block space again all right, so under here now we're going to place uh, an enchanting table and an anvil. And let's go ahead and grab some more resources. Uh, there's really only uh, a couple more that I plan on using here. So we're going to grab the brewing stand. That's a carrot. The brewing stand, the cauldron. Uh, we need a water bucket for the cauldron. And lastly, uh, where is it at? We need, why am I not seeing it? A bed. All right, so we'll go down a couple more blocks again. Place our ladder right there. And here we're going to place a cauldron of water with a brewing stand on top. And then one more block down. This time we're going to face this way. Oops, we don't want our cauldron yet or a brewing stand. Don't place those yet. We're going to face this way, jump up, place a bed. Now turn around place your cauldron with your water and your brewing stand. Perfect. All right. So that's it. We're done. Yes, that is completely it. This is the entire size of the house. It is a one by two house, um, base, whatever you want to call it. Um, but, uh, and now before you guys start raging, Oh my God, you can do it even smaller. Um, for this to be considered a house, I believe that it has to have a bed, which immediately rules out one by one houses. So you need you need two blocks for a bed. Okay. Also needs uh, at least one source of water, not necessarily an infinite source, but at least enough to do three potions. So here we go: cauldron of water, uh, brewing stand, enchanting table, anvil, furnace, crafting table, a double chest worth of inventory. So that's two chests and an ender chest okay so boom this has all of that pretty much everything you would use in a base um and here's an interesting thing in my previous smallest house uh tutorial i broke everything up into floors so that you could stop on each floor well this is why i wanted to avoid doing a one by two at one point i'm going to break this ladder here to demonstrate at one point, you used to be able to place ladders every other block. Mojang removed that ability by making uh, the ladders operate on your feet position instead of your head position. So now if we go up this ladder, we bounce right here because our feet aren't touching it, so we can't climb it. 
but you can't stop on that ladder ladder because this one kind of pushes you out a little bit. So there's no way to go up. You can't jump or anything. You're stuck right here. Uh, but if you just put that ladder over one block, then you can land on this one, which means you can jump and get your feet position high enough to climb this ladder and then move on like so. So you can still hop from ladder to ladder. Um, Moying hasn't removed the ability to do this, so I don't know if they're ever going to, but I decided I'd do this tutorial anyway. So now you have the ability, placing your ladders like so, to stop at different floors to utilize whatever it is you're wanting to use. You just stand on one ladder, you know, just on the top like so. Um, you could uh, cook up stuff uh, in your furnace whatever <laughs> in your furnace need a log there we go um standing on the ladder and you know you don't have to worry about that Rah. i keep flying accidentally stop flying <laughs> all right that is a cool furnace look at that there's like little coals on the bottom um anyway so to get out I assume you close the la the trap door behind you. <laughs> well, you, you the trap door needs to be closed. You climb this ladder, open the trap door, and then you can close it and hop out. Uh, very simple. Um, now, one more thing we're going to do. We actually want to replace this block here. Uh, so forget about the torch. We're going to choose a stair block. So pick whichever stair block you like best. I'm going to use stone brick. And you want to face your trap door and place your stair block upside down like so. And now you'll be able to open your ender chest. Uh, we'll put our torch back down now. Now you'll be able to open your ender chest. Like so, since there's a stair block on top. And problem solved. So now we'll climb back up. And that's it. That is a one by two house. Um, with all your uh, basic necessities. Pretty much as small as is possible. Um, there should be no way to make it smaller and include all these uh, items. Now, you don't have to include all those items. Uh, that is an important distinction to make. Uh, if you wanted to make one smaller, you could do you know, a chest, a crafting table, a furnace, and that's it. And then you can wait out the night inside there and you'll be able to craft and smelt things, <laughs> no problem. Uh, but this is more like, you know, you wanna show off your smallest possible house to your friends, uh, or you actually want a super small base like this. Maybe you're playing on a faction server or something and you need to hide a, a base. I don't know. Um, or you just want to do it for fun. So this is it right here. Um, and of course, you could decorate the walls and make it a three by four. If you decorate the walls, I'm going to leave them undecorated. Uh, here's the two by two for the, the last smallest house tutorial where I did decorate the walls and that confused people. Um, so I'm not doing that this time. So here you go. A one by two underground house, small as it's going to get. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did click that like button down below, uh, hopefully you learned something new with the ladders here. It's very useful. You actually go down quicker because you drop a little, um, going up, maybe not, not, I don't know. It's because you can jump and get an extra little height boost. So yeah, going up, if you get the hang of it could actually be quicker too. So if you like the video, click that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you can uh, see these videos in your subscription inbox as they come out, assuming you want to, of course. Um, but yeah, this is the Black Belt Panda. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bonus pro tip. All right, so check this out. Um, if you want to make this base a little bit cooler, uh, here's what you can do. You grab a sapling, um, any sapling you want, preferably one that blends in with your environment. I'm going to go with an oak sapling. And you grab a piece of dirt, or you just leave the piece of dirt here before you start. And then what we're going to do is plant the sapling. Now you can let it grow, or you can hit it with a bunch of bone meal. So we're just going to bone meal the sapling here. Boom, we got a tree. We're going to break out those two blocks there. We're going to break out the dirt block. And I did not mean to break that trap door, so we're going to replace that. Boom. All right, so same thing. You can access your ender chest, uh, and at the same time, uh, you don't need a top block here, but you've got an awesome tree. And of course, where's our torch? Where's our torch? Torch. Boom. All right, so we still got our torch. Um, now, this could also be useful. Uh, if you don't want to grow a tree, pick a tree and dig your base under it. 
that simple. We could totally just like come over here to this nice big tree and dig our base starting right here under it. Uh, so that might be a cool way to get your base a little more hidden. Kind of looks neat being under the tree like that. And then boom, look at that. No roots, just a base. Ha ha ha. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or suggestions, leave those in the comment section below. This is the Black Bull Panda, and I'm out for real this time.